Hey, hello everyone. Hey, it's a late uh, Saturday afternoon uh, after four o'clock. Uh, it's been a cloudy, dreary day all day, so hope the light is good here. I, I don't know. The gnats are bad. The gnats are bad. I had one crawling over the camera lens already, so I had to restart uh, restart the video. You didn't want to see this giant giant critter crawling across the crawling across the screen. But uh, today I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to do one from Samuel Adams. I imagine it's got a little age on it. Uh, I'm not sure when it came out, but uh, I'm going to do their Merry Mischief Gingerbread Stout. Um, it's a holiday beer, so I'm assuming it probably came out uh, November, December, something like that. But still on the shelf, still for sale, so I figured they think it's good, or at least the distributors do. A um, little bit... Uh, a little bit from the uh, website, it says this rich, dark gingerbread stout entices with the aromas of the holidays. The flavor of gingerbread comes alive, beginning with the smooth sweetness and heartiness of dark roasted malts and a touch of wheat. But it's the intensity and spices of cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, and ginger that add a wicked kick for a jolly, playful brew full of merry mischief. 9% uh, ABV, 25 IBU, so it's a 9% stout. I'm sure it for the most part, it should age pretty well. I don't know how those spices uh, spices will last, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, at least it's at least six months old, so got a little age on it, but just a standard Samuel Adams cap. Got a little smoke out of the bottle. Damn, gnats are bad. They're everywhere. I'm probably going to have to pick them out of this here. I'm gonna seal this bottle up real quick. I'm not definitely not gonna fill this whole thing up, and definitely not gonna drink this whole 9% beer right now. Um, take it home, stick it in the fridge, share it with some friends. But let's get a look at it and see what we got here. Yeah, it looks like a stout. Um, don't really have any sun. Like I said, it's been cloudy all day, but we got a dark brownish brownish red uh, almost looks black but it's not quite there uh, got a, it has started with a couple fingers of a nice uh, really uh, chocolate covered head or chocolate colored head uh, mixture of big and small bubbles looks like it might stick around it's definitely gonna definitely gonna leave some uh, nice lacing it's leaving some already just swirling around in the glass so let me get a nose on it all right, yeah, I'm getting that ginger up front, definitely. Uh, I'm getting a little, still getting a little cinnamon, caramel, uh, getting those dark roasted malts, that for sure. Uh, smells a lot like a gingerbread cookie, that's for sure. Um, definitely getting a nutmeg. Uh, maybe a little, yeah, I'm getting a little of the clove, a um, little licorice, anise, whatever that is. Uh, Pretty heavy, uh, pretty heavy assault of uh, spices here, that's for sure. Uh, maybe also a little brown sugar in there, a little vanilla. Nice smelling, nice smelling stout. Uh, smells like a really sweet, uh, sweet stout, that's for sure. So let me give it a taste. Yeah, yeah, liquid gingerbread cookie, that's for sure. Um, Definitely matches the smell. Lots of ginger, um, cinnamon. Getting those other spices, the clove, the ginger. Getting some of the, like the darker chocolates, the, the anise in there, the licorice flavor. But it's uh, primarily the ginger, the nutmeg, uh, cinnamon. Uh, they really, really, uh, really come through in this. Um, I'm not really getting the 9% alcohol. There's just a hint of it. Um, they're a really good uh, carbonation tingle. The, the only objection I have to this is... Uh, hold on. Oh, I came back. I had a train come through. There's no horns at... Uh, 
a quiet zone thing seems to work here in the town. The trains aren't blowing their horns, but I'm only about a quarter mile from the track, so a lot of clatter. Now some guy's cranked up his mower in the background, so you might hear that. But uh, overall, um, the the spices and everything have seemed to seem to survive pretty well uh, into June. Um, for a stout, it's a uh, this is a really thin, a thin mouthfeel. It's um, thin and slightly overcarbonated for a stout. Um, I think it needs a little more body for a stout, but um, it's it's medium, medium light. That's for sure. Pretty, pretty thin mouthfeel for a stout, especially a nine percent, probably imperial stout. But um, anyway, let me sit and. Uh, Sit and sip on this a while, and I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been half an hour or so. I haven't drank a whole lot of this. This is a real, real sipper for sure. Um, it's a little, it's it's good. It's real, it's tasty. Uh, uh, really, really does taste like, like I said, like a gingerbread cookie. Uh, the aroma smells like gingerbread, but when you get that, uh, get those roasty, toasty malts, um, on that flavor that you're not getting so much on the nose it, it tastes more like a, a gingerbread cookie I don't know if you know the you know the little more crispiness not as not as quite as bready as um, as actual gingerbread uh, it tastes tastes like a gingerbread cookie I'm uh, not really my style but um, um, like I said it's just a bit over the top on the spices for me um, also that mouthfeel um, it is thin it is over carbonated uh, it's not it's a well they call it a stout um, I guess it's vaguely a stout but it's not my favorite style of stout I don't like them that thin but uh, that's what they were going for but that being said I'm sort of pleasantly surprised by this um, the, the spices are good it smells it does smell like gingerbread um, if the body was stronger um, I'd, I'd probably have liked it a little bit more, but um, like I said, a little over the top. So I'm going to give the Samuel Adams Merry, Merry Mischief from their Small Batch series. I'm assuming, hoping from, from last winter, probably November or December. I'm going to give it a good solid uh, 7.5 out of 10. Uh, Decent drinkable beer. Uh, I don't know if I'll pick it up again. Maybe if I see one uh, fresh next year at holiday time, I can uh, pick one up to you know take to a family gathering or something. But I don't think I'd buy one for myself to drink regularly. Uh, I'll sell, like I said, as you can see, I've got it capped up. So I'll save the rest and uh, share it with somebody else and see what they think. But uh, 7.5 out of 10 for. Samuel Adams, Merry Mischief. So, till next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beer. Now I gotta get all these squished dead gnats out of my hair.